I went crayfishing in this dam when we first moved here. I was only 12 years old. Dad got the job as regional manager for BP and Mum worked in the office at the fuel depot. We built the family home, this Queenslander, on the floodplain at 3A Lovell Street, on four acres in the middle of town. And we loved it, me and my younger brothers, Matthew and Russell. Cricket in the summer, rugby league in the winter, squash, basketball, motorbikes and crayfishing. Not once did we sit in the house playing computer games. What I most fondly remember about growing up here was the freedom. That, the mateship, and being able to dream. We played for Roma Cities, the Gladiators, here at Beats and Oval. I never saw Arthur play, but when Willie Kahn went from Roma to make his name at the Broncos, I remember thinking, he was the first famous person I knew. At school, we'd talk all week about playing footy on the weekend. Everyone dreams, but you don't think those dreams will ever come true. You just hope. I had a jumper with Wally Lewis's name on the back, and I'd wear it playing against my brothers. Call out his name. Lewis. The King. Anyway, I made the Queensland under 12s and we played New South Wales. The third time was at Lane Park, a curtain raiser to a big Broncos Parramatta match. That's another of my great memories, because six years later, I was playing for the Broncos against the Eels, with the famous Willie Kahn, now my teammate. Everything just sort of exploded from there. to live a life that as a boy I could barely dare to imagine. It's truly humbling. Tonight, I play my last game of origin in my last ever year of playing rugby league. And I'm glad it's back here at the Old Lane Park, 479 kilometres as the crow flies east of Beats and Over. At times, it seems a world away. but only at times. That's just an inspiration there for any young sporting person, isn't it? Showing what can come from such hum humble beginnings. And you can obviously take the boy out of the country, but not the country out of the boy. And